us at Wormel are super excited to partner with Circle and CCTP, which is cross-chain transfer protocol. And so today we're going to walk through uh, two of the specific demos we've created. Again, everything is open source on the wormhole side here. Um, so we encourage you to go in, we encourage you to play with it, and ultimately build something like this. We view cross-chain as actually an unlock for user experience. Um, it kind of abstracts away a lot of the complexity and message passing token transfers that are happening in the background so that you can ultimately provide a really, really clean user experience. So we're gonna demo two things here today, and I'm gonna go through this quite quickly. First thing we're gonna demo is a transfer of USDC from Ethereum to Avalanche. Um, and remember, this is native USDC on both of them, and you're, you're doing a, a swap. Uh, essentially. Now, where wormhole comes in here is that you're able to not only swap, but swap and get some destination gas. So what I mean by that is if I want to go to Avalanche, I've never used that ecosystem before, I likely don't have ABAX, the native token of Avalanche. So what this will allow you to do is, again, not only use CCTP to bridge uh, native USDC from Ethereum to Avalanche, but also take a portion of that, allocate it to uh, destination gas, or in other words, the native token of Avalanche where you are going with this USDC, and then once you're there, go and do something with the USDC you've bridged over. So let's take a quick look. I have two, two USDC here, um, and one thing I want to comment on is please ignore the actual uh, fee estimates. Remember, this is just a test release only. We highly recommend you go in uh, to the repository and ultimately build something with this. Um, so we, we encourage this, but again, this is simply for test purposes. So if I go in and I say, okay, I want, you know, let's just say 0.2 USDC to be converted when I get to the other chain into AVAX so I can then go and do things like participate in DeFi, play games, then I would just put that here to 0.2. Um, it would deduct it from the amount I would receive. Remember, that's just getting transferred to AVAX. It's not, you know, going anywhere. So what I'm going to get is you know, 1.75 when I get to the destination chain, plus uh, the equivalent of 0.2 USDC in AVAX, the native token of Avalanche. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and approve this transaction. Great. And once we've confirmed that, we then just push, for, push through the transfer. And once this is complete, again, I will have my USDC, but I will also have, because of what Wormhole's doing, sending those extra instructions along with CCTP, I will have a swap at the destination chain, as a reminder, that's Avalanche, where I will then get to take that AVAX and go do whatever I want with it. Now, for the second demo that Wormhole's built with CCTP, we're doing a native to native swap. So what I mean by that is before we were swapping USDC, now we're taking the native token of Ethereum, which is, which is uh, ETH, and we are swapping that for AVAX, which is the native token uh, of Avalanche. Now remember, if you were to ever swap these beforehand, it would typically look something like you're on Ethereum with ETH, and you have some form of derivative uh, of AVAX. That could be like a wrapped AVAX, if you will, and vice versa. You're on Avalanche, you have AVAX, and you're swapping that for some derivative or wrapped version of uh, ETH from Ethereum. Now, what we're gonna do here is essentially facilitate a native-to-native -native swap. Ethereum on the home chain, or on Ethereum, excuse me, uh, for AVAX on Avalanche. And underneath what's happening, and I'll explain it in a little bit more detail here, is there's you're using USDC, or CCTP in this instance, with USDC as a highway in conjunction with Wormhole to make all these swaps happen. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take, essentially, Ethereum, and I'm going to swap it for Avalanche. So I'm going to confirm and proceed with the transfer. And essentially what's happening is the Ethereum I have on ETH, or the ETH I have on Ethereum, is getting swapped for USDC. Now that's USDC on Ethereum. Then we're using CCTP to burn that USDC on Ethereum. And then we're going to mint USDC on Avalanche. But with Wormhole, we're able to give it a second set of instructions. And that instruction is to take that USDC on Avalanche and swap it into AVAX. So what we've done here is we've gone from Ethereum all the way to AVAX. 
using CCTP and wormhole with USDC is what some people like to call a highway.